Well, welcome back my gardening friends. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on uh, my leeks. Uh, I planted, or shall we say, we sowed them a little bit later uh, to try and prevent the allium leaf miner. And we can already see uh, the tracking uh, on these leaves. So this is what you need uh, to be uh, keeping an eye on. And if we quickly cut the leaf from there, we should stop that one okay but you can see on most of these now it's getting uh, well established even more so on that one we've got to be more worried that that's actually traveling now uh, down the stem at the moment I believe I've just got this one leak that hasn't been affected you can see all the leaves are as they should be so we're quite happy with that but then right next to it complete devastation so just keep an eye on your leaks make sure everything's okay i'll just set you up on the tripod now so that i can actually show you how to control the ones that have really got uh, it bad now as far as i can see it's made it to there and possibly to there so I've got a playlist full of videos on this so first of all I'm going to take it all off there I'm going to have a little look <coughs> on the central stem there and all we're looking for is how far the grub has got so we can see it there we'll take another set of leaves and we'll go for the last one what may be the last one yes the little blight has only got as far as that. I'll have a quick look to see if I can find him if he hasn't already dropped on the floor. So that one eluded me so I've found uh, another one and uh, he'll be desperate to drop on the floor. Go into a cocoon and then uh, hatch out uh, in the next uh, uh, growing season. So just excuse me. No, I'm not going to eat it. But you can also see there, I've peeled back the stem and we've got a mark there. So just let's have a little look, see if there's anything below that. Uh, you see, he's made a hole, or one has, is his mate. Hang on, his mate's in there. There we go. So there is his mate. But we've stopped it now there. Uh, on the one that I'll show you shortly, which I've gone lower down. Um, so there's more than one grub in each plant. And, oops. So I've had to cut that one down to there. I may as well cut this one off now while we're here. I'll just check that one, but now you can see, there's still more. Now the one that I've just cut off, I think I've just cut him in half. Sorry mate. Yeah, just cut him in half, so we got to go lower down. So it's just a matter of having a quick look. Now, this, these are on my playlist, so yeah, we're fine with that now. You've just got to cut them off and check. Let's get rid of the leaves, because uh, those are no longer required. The new stems will come out here and there. So these four, once I've checked, should be fine. And I'll be keeping a real big eye on that one. And maybe I might even get one leak this year. So if you see these signs, yeah, well, let's have a quick look at that one. That one, I'm not even gonna bother with. I'm gonna pull him out of the ground. But uh, yeah, 
that's what to look out for and the best way i've found is to cut them off and they'll reshoot and hopefully we'll miss the next wave it's not guaranteed but that is how to keep an eye out for the allium leaf miner all the signs and that's also how i deal with the grub itself if we miss it at uh, the early stages we saw at the start of this video i hope this has been a little bit of help to uh, you out there doesn't look like i'm going to get some proper leaks again this year happy gardening to you all till next time my friends for half an hour. All this will be taken home to be composted at uh, the council tip. Excuse me.